This morning, we see this on Good Morning America. Now, you know, we talked about losing heroes. Bill Cosby gone. You know, they're trying to take Hef down. You know, they, you know, you mess around and lost Hulk Hogan and everything else. Well, you can have Hulk Hogan back. Really? He he explained this morning why he used the N-word. Oh, okay. And, you know, even though he says he's sorry about it, he explained it for y'all. Just to let you know. Now, this ain't for y'all, per, per, you know. Just this audience is for everybody. Everybody. But he explained it on why he used the N-word. So now you can understand it. So listen to this. And if you still don't understand why, then you can hit us up on the Hungry Howard's Pizza text line. Okay, we can do that. I was at the lowest point of my life to the point where I want to kill myself. You were suicidal. Yes, I was. And I was very mad at my daughter for really no reason. I was upset over... A situation that happened between her and her boyfriend, and I had no idea I was being taped. On the tape, he refers to his daughter's then-boyfriend using the N-word. Are you a racist? No, I'm not. I'm not a racist. I never should have said what I said. It was wrong. I'm embarrassed by it. But a lot of people need to realize that you inherit things from your environment. And where I grew up was South Tampa, oh, and it was a really rough neighborhood. Very low income. And all my friends, we greeted each other saying that word. The word was just thrown around like it was nothing. Is it fair to say that you inherited a racial bias? I would say that is very fair. The atmosphere, the environment I grew up in, all my white friends, all my black friends, to hear the word on a daily basis when they'd greet me in the morning. That's what they say to me. Good morning, so and so. Somebody says, <laughs> stop. Stop. Slap yourself, Hulk. Somebody says to him every morning when he goes to get his coffee, what up? Really? Good morning. Every morning? They say the N-word to him? In South Tampa. In, really? This dude. Good it, morning, Jigga. Like, really? But not that? <laughs> That's what he basically just said. I hope y'all understand. Hulk Hogan just said, when people greet him in the morning when he comes outside of his house, <laughs> they say, good morning, Jigga. That's what he's saying. This is the absolute worst apology I've ever heard. You are 62 years old <laughs> talking about how I grew up in South Tampa. It was okay with my black friends. You're 62, bro. Come on. You okay. grew up like Come that? Come on, bro. In South, South Tampa back in the day. 62 years it ago. Was, it could have been as hood as hell. Nobody was, was running up. I don't. I heard it was it, back in the day. It's listen, like it could have been anywhere in Tampa. Okay. It just, but yeah, like Hyde Park like in the 80s, I heard, was very sketchy. But I, now listen, it's beautiful. It probably Probably could. It probably could have okay. been. But to say when you were gro- when you when if you're 62 years old, that means that you were growing up in the 50s and 60s. Mm-hmm. No black people in the 50s and 60s were looking at white people saying, "Hey, good morning, Jigger. How you doing, my Jigger? That's something now that ain't." You can't say, I, I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna tell you what to say. You guys got a comment? You can call. But I know damn well this man just went on TV and lied on Tampa. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. that is not happening. I, if anybody who was alive during that, I wasn't Ugh. here. Wasn't alive, wasn't here. But if you a 60 something year old person, were you talking to Hulk Hogan that way? <laughs> were you calling Hulk Hogan your jigger? Was that happening? Mm. Uh, I kind of want to hear it one more I time. smell foul. I smell, I'll play it for you again. Cause I swear, cause all right, and, and I'll just be clear and say that he said there was this situation with this guy she was dating. You know what that situation was. They had this transcript. She was having came out. sex with a black man. Mm-hmm. That's that's what it was. He ain't like it. And he said on the tape. On the transcript. On the sex tape. Yes. He said that I'm a little racist then. He said we're all a little racist. He admitted that on the tape. It's on the transcript. He didn't know he was being taped, which is a whole nother conversation I can't get into because I don't want to have to go to nobody's office. <laughs> but I would just say he had no idea he was being taped. He, he should have said, I said something out of pocket. I shouldn't have said it. It was something I'm ashamed of. A good clean I apology. I didn't know I was being taped, but that still doesn't excuse me. I shouldn't have thrown that around there. And the fact that I'm here now shows you that I know I'm wrong. Bam. That's what we expected, Pow. at least. Shoot it in there. <laughs> Shoot it in there. That's what we got to say. I was at the lowest oh, Jesus. 
point of my life, to the point where I want to kill myself. You were suicidal? Yes, I was. And I was very mad at my daughter for really no reason. I was upset so over with a, black guy. a situation that happened between her and her boyfriend, and I had no idea I was being taped. On the tape, he refers to his daughter's then-boyfriend using the N-word. Are you a racist? No, I'm not. I'm not a racist. I never should have said what I said. It was wrong. I'm embarrassed by it. But a lot of people need to realize that you inherit things from your environment. And where I grew up was South Tampa, and it was a really rough neighborhood, very low income. And all my friends, we greeted each other saying that word. The word was just thrown around like it was nothing. Is it fair to say that you inherited a racial bias? I would say that is very fair. The atmosphere, the environment I grew up in, all my white friends, all my black friends, to hear the word on a daily basis when they'd greet me in the morning. That's what they say to me. Good morning, Jigga! So and so. I think that was part of the culture and the environment I grew up in. <sighs> Stop it. Stop. Why, why people just can't be real. This is just a, who are your friends? Uh, who is his friends? We know a whole bunch of people we've seen on TV and stuff who is his friends. So if they was running around saying the N word to each other, hey, I'm surprised, surprised. All right. But just be a man and say, you know what? It's wrong. I shouldn't have said it. On the tape. On the tape. Yeah. I seen the tape and the transcript. He said, and I quote, he said that if she was going to bang black guy, at least bang some seven foot black guy in the NBA so he can dunk basketball and he get with $300 million. Right. Yep. And admitted that, you know. That's racist. Yeah. Definitely. It's, def- it's definitely racist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's racist. I don't think it could be. I mean, that's definitely racist. It's not even it. 62 oh. years old, blame him how you grew up. Ah, come on, man. Come on, man. If you did, okay, let's throw no. it the other way for Hit a second. Hit him with the Kanye. Come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> if you on, did bruh. grow up like that, say, say somebody did grow up in a rough neighborhood. That means, well, you're they a racist then. No, 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 no. There are people who use the word and who misuse the word. I have black people, white people, whoever. I don't like people using the word personally, but here's the deal. If he's come around people using it, it ain't been from when he was growing up. Growing up, you growing up after 18, mm-hmm. 20. You grow up. He was growing up in the 50s and 60s. Yeah, you trying to tell me? Yeah, fine. Anybody who's who's out there, tell me that they were peppering "Good morning" to him. So they were saying that to him. Yeah. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. And you guys are saying, "Well, you're he's sixty two years old now. That should have just been phased out." Just go ahead. Just take this L. Dog. I thought just he was going to apologize. I mean, do you know how much we've seen you lose on TV? You lost to your wife. You lost to the boy that was driving your cars around. A little twelve year old boy. Your wife was banging around with. The little, little classmate, you lost in the, the court of a public opinion with this tape. You didn't lost, I mean, dude, just take the L and go away. Why go you got to keep talking? Is there ever Shut a point up. where he could have come back? I don't know. That's up to the people. I, listen, the J is on the line. J, hey. Man, ain't nobody never call that man that. <laughs> ain't nobody never call that man that. He would have beat the pants off of one of them, man. You know what I mean? And it might have been get thrown around in his neighborhood, but he wasn't throwing or catching it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I, I tell you that right now. I, I you would have made the papers if you was a white dude and everybody was running around calling you that in your face. And then when it started with "Good morning," <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Happy you know day, Jigga. <laughs> man, I got you, man. I appreciate it. Sativa, how you doing? Good morning, Jiggers. Good morning, <laughs> morning Jiggers. <laughs> Apparently, everybody in Tampa just speak this way. He's, man, just misrepresented all of us on national TV. I mean, I came out this morning. My neighbor had a cup of coffee. He said, good morning, Jiggers. I say, hi, how you doing? So, you know, it's just one thing around here. But um, I just want to say, you know, I didn't want to believe that he's a racist. I don't want to go that far and put the whole racist word on him. But you, it's some things you just can't put on a mental, mental, mental issue. And, and being a racist is just one of them. You can't go back 50, 60 years and say, oh, I was taught this when I grew up. That's just something that you just can't say that I have a mental problem. And this made me say, jigga, 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 all over the place. That's just not, that's not what's happening. And, I, I mean, mean it's, that. it's as uncomfortable to hear him say it on that tape as, as is uncomfortable for me to hear on anybody's conversation. I get tense around people who are using it around me because I know people are watching me and they think I'm condoning it because I let that conversation happen to me. So I always tell people like, yo man, just hold up. You know, like why you got to like go there and I can't edit people's conversation, but 
at least own it, man. You said it. You said it. I mean, you know, it's like Donald Sterling. I, you said in the privacy of somebody's house and stuff, and I don't think that should be fodder for everybody. But when it comes out, man, you got to just take that L. Apologize. You got to just say, on. look, man, I said it, and I shouldn't have said it, and that was it. Like, we would have more respect for you. And I'm saying it like I'm the damn president of the dark people. I'm not at all. I didn't get voted in any kind of thing. But I'm saying I would have more respect for you if you would just say, yo, man, I said it, and I was just angry at the fact that I'm trying to, you know, all of us got daughters. We're just trying to keep up off some rap dude, and she down there, first rap dude. I was mad, and I said it, and I own it, and damn it, I shouldn't have, and I, sh- man, I'd understand if y'all ain't never talked to me again. Okay, all right. Go and that would have been a decent apology. That would have been all right with me. But that's not what he said. I was in a dark place. Low place. <laughs> in South Suicidal. Tampa. In South Tampa, they talk like that. Like, I mean, my cousin's going to be emailing me now. Really? <laughs> so I'm saying, y'all down there in Tampa like that? Well, yeah. that's a really bad apology, that's for sure. <laughs> Dion, what's up, man? Yo, uh, I grew up I grew up out of Central Park, right? Yeah. And I, I, went to, I went to Madison, and I went to Robinson High School. I'm 40 years old. I ain't never, and I used to hang, I used to hang out. Let's leave Central Park and go back to Port Tampa. I ain't never, ever heard nobody call no, what's up, Jigger? And that wasn't him growing up. That was him no. as a grown-ass man that decided to pick that up because Come he was on, around man. people he was comfortable with. Because, I mean, I know people he was around that's comfortable with the word that used it. So, I mean, I, I'm not trying to be the, the word police to him, but I'm like, dude, really? You're going to go on national TV and we look up and we see him say South Tampa growing up. We they were like good morning. No, they. I mean, now you playing us. This video ain't but what two years old, and you saying it's a that bit longer than that? But this, yeah, it's, it was recent. So, so you a sixty year old man dropping that, and as soon as you say, well, you know, I'm not racist, but that's the biggest red flag in the world. Uh, we got a lot more texts in though. People yes. are saying, well, how come it's okay for some people to say it, and then it's others not, not okay? I mean, but that's, see, not, the I, point. that's not my no, 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 no. That that is totally the point. I ain't saying it's okay for anybody to say it. Right. I'm saying if that's your answer, let that be your answer. His answer is that, well, it was just when I grew up, and that's not true. And during that time in the 50s and 60s, there was nobody saying that. that I'm, that's why I'm asking if any older people call and tell me that I'm wrong because there are people texting. There's no way that that was part of the vernacular then. So if that wasn't it, then just don't go up there and lie. Why call a press conference with Good Morning America to sit in your black and white little Art Deco little thing and, and then lie? And say this to try and save face. That's crazy. Like, just let it go. I, I wouldn't even think about you in the N-word this morning. Right, right. You just didn't even have to come on TV. Why you got to come on TV and bring it all back up again with that be it? Well, he wanted to apologize correctly. He didn't apologize. He, he gave us a reason. You have to play it again. He gave <laughs> us a reason. Because of the people that kept with him. Good morning, Jigga. <laughs> Call me. I'll tell you what to do. Go on TV and say, guess what? I said it. Not proud of it. But I was upset. That's what I was surprised about. She's banging he, a rapper. He couldn't You'd be just upset apologize. Too. Everybody close your eyes at this press conference and imagine your daughter banging a rapper. You might say it too. <laughs> I'd even give you a pass on that one. All right? But just don't get up and lie to me. That's not cool. Well, uh, the number one kids club is here.